Did you know the SR-71 Blackbird could fly from New York to London in less than two hours? Now that's what we call fast. This incredible aircraft, like a bird of prey in the sky, holds the world record for the fastest speed ever recorded by an air-breathing manned aircraft. But the Blackbird is more than just its speed. It's a story of ingenuity, engineering marvels, and a little bit of audacity. Imagine a plane that not only outruns the sunrise, but also its own sonic boom. Intrigued yet? You should be. We're about to dive deep into the world of the SR-71 Blackbird, exploring its birth, the technological innovations it introduced, the thrilling tales of its speed, and its enduring legacy. So buckle up, folks. The ride is going to be faster than you think. Stick around as we take a journey back in time to when the SR-71 Blackbird was first created. Our story starts in the late 1950s, in the midst of the Cold War. A time when information was as valuable as gold, but far more elusive. Tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union were at an all-time high, and the need for accurate and timely intelligence was paramount. Enter Lockheed Martin, an American aerospace company that dared to dream of a creation that would change the face of aviation forever. The challenge was clear, to design an aircraft that could fly higher, faster, and be stealthier than anything else in the skies. And the answer was the SR-71 Blackbird. The Blackbird was not born out of a desire for fame or to break records. Rather, it was born out of necessity, out of the need for survival in a world teetering on the brink of nuclear warfare. The purpose of the Blackbird's creation was for strategic reconnaissance and surveillance, to be the eyes in the sky when satellites were not enough. The Blackbird was designed to fly at altitudes of over 80,000 feet, at speeds exceeding Mach 3. This was not just about outpacing enemy missiles, but outrunning them. Lockheed Martin assembled a team of the brightest minds in aerospace, led by the brilliant designer Clarence Kelly Johnson. Together, they embarked on a journey of innovation and exploration, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. The Blackbird was to be more than just a plane, it was to be a marvel of engineering, a testament to human ingenuity in the face of adversity. Creating the Blackbird was no easy feat. It required a combination of revolutionary design techniques, cutting-edge materials, and a whole lot of determination. For instance, the Blackbird's iconic matte black finish wasn't just for aesthetics. It was designed to absorb radar waves, making the plane virtually invisible to enemy detection. The Blackbird wasn't just built for speed, it was built for stealth. This was a plane that was to slip in and out of enemy territory unnoticed, capturing vital information without ever being seen. It was a plane that was to become a legend, a symbol of American innovation and resilience in an era of uncertainty and fear. The SR-71 Blackbird wasn't your average plane, it was a technological marvel of its time. Let's delve into the technological wonders of the SR-71 Blackbird. First, its design was absolutely unique. Unlike most aircrafts of its era, the Blackbird boasted a sleek, elongated shape with sharp edges. This wasn't just for show. This design was meticulously crafted to minimize the plane's radar cross-section, thereby maximizing its stealth capabilities. But it was more than just the shape that made the Blackbird stealthy. The materials used in its construction also played a crucial role. Its outer skin was made of a special alloy of titanium, chosen for its high melting point and strength. This alloy was so unique it could withstand the intense heat generated by the Blackbird's incredible speed, which could reach over three times the speed of sound. But that's not all. The Blackbird's skin was coated with a special radar-absorbent material. This further reduced its visibility on radar, making it an elusive target for enemy detection systems. And let's not forget the engines. The Blackbird was powered by two Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, which were more than just powerhouses. These engines were designed to operate continuously in afterburner mode, providing the thrust necessary for the Blackbird to maintain its astonishing speed. Moreover, the Blackbird was equipped with a suite of advanced avionics, including a sophisticated navigation system that could automatically correct the plane's course, a radar system with a range of over 100 miles, and a defensive system that could jam enemy radars and launch countermeasures. So you see, the SR-71 Blackbird was more than just a fast plane. It was a masterpiece of engineering, a testament to the ingenuity of its creators, and a symbol of the technological prowess of its time.
And remember, if you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get to the heart of the matter, just how fast could the SR-71 Blackbird fly? Well, strap yourselves in because the Blackbird was a speed demon unlike any other. This jet-propelled marvel was designed to cruise at speeds over Mach 3. That's three times the speed of sound, folks. In simpler terms, it could cover a staggering 16 miles every minute. Now how does this compare to other planes of its time? Well, let's put it this way. The Blackbird flew as if every other plane was standing still. Even the most advanced fighter jets of the era could barely touch Mach 2. The Blackbird, on the other hand, was comfortably cruising at Mach 3.2. And it wasn't just about the top speed. The SR-71 Blackbird was built to sustain these jaw-dropping speeds for hours on end. This was a long-range strategic reconnaissance aircraft, after all. It was designed to get in, gather intelligence, and get out before anyone even knew it was there. But here's the kicker. The Blackbird wasn't just fast, it was record-breakingly fast. On July 28, 1976, an SR-71 Blackbird clocked a speed of 2,193.13 miles per hour. That's almost 2,800 kilometers per hour. This feat remains unbeaten to this day, securing the Blackbird's place in the record books as the fastest jet-powered aircraft ever built. And the Blackbird had another trick up its wing. Its speed was its shield. When enemy radars picked it up and launched surface-to-air missiles, the Blackbird simply outran them. That's right, it was faster than a speeding missile. So, when we say the SR-71 Blackbird was a speed demon, we're not just talking about a fast plane, we're talking about a plane that redefined what it meant to be fast. A plane that pushed the boundaries of technology and engineering to a whole new level. The SR-71 Blackbird wasn't just fast, it was supersonic. Every great invention has its fair share of stories, and the SR-71 Blackbird is no exception. The Blackbird's tails are as captivating as its speed. Let's start with an incident that took place in 1970. It's a cold winter's day, and an SR-71 is on a routine reconnaissance mission over North Korea. Suddenly, a warning light flashes on the dashboard. The Blackbird has a fuel leak. With a potential explosion risk, the crew initiates an emergency landing at Kadena Air Base, Japan. Despite the danger, the crew lands safely, demonstrating the Blackbird's robust design and the exceptional skills of its pilots. Then there's the story of the Blackbird's first operational mission on March 21, 1968. The Blackbird was tasked with gathering intelligence on North Vietnam. It was a high-stakes mission with the U.S. government keen to get a clear picture of the situation on the ground. The SR-71 flew over enemy territory at over three times the speed of sound, eluding all attempts at interception. The mission was a success, and the Blackbird returned home with invaluable data, marking the beginning of its service in the field of military intelligence. Another tale worth mentioning is the Yom Kippur War in 1973. The Blackbird played a crucial role in monitoring the military buildup and movements in the Middle East. The information gathered by the SR-71 was used to broker a ceasefire, highlighting the Blackbird's significant contribution to international diplomacy. And who could forget the time when the Blackbird outran nearly a thousand surface-to-air missiles? These missiles were fired to bring down the Blackbird, but none could match its speed. The SR-71 would simply accelerate and outpace the missile, a testament to its unrivaled speed and the ingenious design of its creators. Each of these tales speaks volumes about the Blackbird's capabilities, the bravery of its pilots, and the genius of its engineers. Whether it was outrunning missiles, conducting crucial reconnaissance missions, or navigating life-threatening emergencies, the SR-71 Blackbird always rose to the challenge. These stories just add to the legend of the SR-71 Blackbird. The SR-71 Blackbird may no longer be in service, but its legacy lives on. Conceived in the crucible of Cold War tensions, this magnificent aircraft was more than just a high-speed marvel. It was the embodiment of human ingenuity, pushing the boundaries of what was technologically possible. The Blackbird served a crucial purpose, providing the United States with invaluable reconnaissance data, all while zooming through the skies faster than any other plane. Its innovative technology, from the titanium frame to the advanced navigation system, set a new standard in aviation. 
the thrilling tales of its flights, some shrouded in secrecy, others celebrated in the annals of aviation history, add to the mystique of the Blackbird. This remarkable plane with its distinctive silhouette and unmatched speed has left an indelible mark on the world of aviation. That's all we have for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your fellow aviation enthusiasts. Until next time, keep soaring.